Thank you, uh, Rabbi Penner, for your uh, kind words of introduction. Uh, Rabbi Penner and I have been uh, dear friends uh, for decades, and it's uh, with great excitement and anticipation that I look forward to working with him on building uh, this, great, uh, this great yeshiva, this great yeshiva together. Kavod Harabanim, Rosh Yeshiva, Yosef Rosh, Chairman, Joel Schreiber, uh, my dear uncle, who's uh, it's a pleasure to be in his midst, the former past chairman, Julie Berman, and all of the uh, Talmidei, uh, the Talmidim of our Yeshiva. It is really a great, uh, uh, great joy with great excitement uh, that I begin with you on our collective first days. It's the first day of the year, and it's also my first day uh, in, in uh, very, uh, very significant ways, uh, beginning in this new uh, in this new position. And I'm excited to be able to begin my tenure in our first day in our first year together, uh, delivering a little shiur on the mesechet that uh, that we're uh, that we've just started learning together. You know, I will present actually. I'll present a little bit of a, a problem, a question that relates to the mesechet. I'll turn to you and ask you for guidance to help me uh, resolve uh, resolve this problem. We all began this morning to uh, learn uh, Bet Amad Aleph, uh, learn Mesechet Chukah. We started at 9 o'clock sharp, so I know that you've uh, gotten far. And at the very least, we've all learned the Mishnah. And the Mishnah tells us that there's a Machlokes, a Sukkah that's Kavah, Me'esrim Ama, that a Sukkah that's higher than 20 Amot. The Chachamim say that it's Psula. And Rabbi Huda says that it's kashe. The Gemara asks, why is it psula? Why 20 amos? What's, uh, what's uh, higher than 20 amot? Why is it psula? The Gemara mentions three shitot, shitot of the Amuraim. For our purposes, it's just a mini shiur. So I'll just focus on, uh, on the third one, on Rava. Rava explains that the reason why the sukkah is psula, that it's over 20 amot, because it says in the Torah, the sukkot teshvu shavat yamim, Amrat Torah, kol shavat hayamim, same adirat keva, shave the dirat arai. That the halacha of sukkah is that you're supposed to leave the dirat keva and live in the dirat arai. Less than 20 amot, so that's considered a dirat, a dirat arai. A building that's more than 20 amot, that's already a dirat keva. Abai immediately asked the question, is that really true? But what about uh, if you make uh, sukkah mechitza barzel, and you can make uh, the walls of mechitza even less than 20 amot like Kaba? And the Gemara explains, yes, that's true. But less than 20 amot, a uh, building could be a rai or keva. But more than 20 amot, that's a building that's generally keva. So I'm explain that anyone who wants to do it a rai, it's badladaita. We see a building more than 20 amot, we assume that that looks like it's dirat keva. That's psula. That wouldn't work for sukkah. And we have this general principle, this important principle, Tzei Medirat Keva, Vishay Medirat Arai. It's really not just Shitat uh, Rava, but we also find in other cases that the sukkah is Dirat Arai, as the Gemara says in Gemal Mebet, explaining the Shitat Chachamim of why less than uh, uh, Dal Ramot or Dal Ramot is, uh, um, is Kasher, because you need a sukkah to be Dirat Arai. That is a fundamental principle. The problem is, the question comes, if you learn, when we learn later on in the Masechet, when we get to the Mishnah in Chavchet Bet, the Mishnah tells us another principle, very similarly, actually worded in similar fashion. Kol Shevat HaYemim, Adam Oses Ukato Keva, Ubeito Ara. Right? For all seven days that a person turns his Sukkah into Keva, and his house becomes Ara. The Gemara afterwards quotes uh, the Brita, which explains that also uh, from the Sukkot Teshvu, the Teshvu came to Duru. They were supposed to live in the Sukkah. Was supposed to, the Sukkah is supposed to be to us as as its keva, and therefore there are halachot that apply. Therefore, you should eat in the Sukkah, and drink in the Sukkah, and sleep in the Sukkah. You metayel in the Sukkah. You learn in the Sukkah. And therefore, you have to bring nice kalim, you have to bring furniture and utensils into the sukkah. You have to turn the sukkah into, uh, into something that's keva. And while the Gemara here talks about this in terms of positive chiyuvim, when it comes to uh, other Gemara, what they talk about it as definitional. That 
this is the definition of sukkah. You have to, the sukkah has to be keva. To the point, in the Gemara, and Chav Zayin Amad Aleph talks and quotes the bright uh, about uh, um, Shomrei uh, Ganim, that if you have uh, the guards of uh, the watchmen of the orchards of the gardens, that they are patur from the sukkah. Why are they patur? So Abai says over there, because Teshvu came to Duru. The halacha is, is that you treat the sukkah like a house. And therefore,